Greetings again, everyone. Today we're going to be trying to extract palm oil from uh, from soap. This may seem like a bit of an easy project, and um, well, it is kind of. <laughs> really, half the point of this project is to have uh, an easy win. <laughs> Plan to do something and then actually succeed in doing it because uh, another couple of projects I'm working on, which is that pile of stuff over there, has not been a very easy win. However, now that I've said the words easy win out loud, it means that this project will probably be the hardest project I ever do in my life. But anyway, we have a need for this chemical in the future, but for now, uh, we just have four blocks of soap. Moisture care with alloy and olive extracts. Sure, whatever, this was like two bucks. And we read the ingredients. Sodium pal palmate, palmate, palmate. Sodium palmate, sodium palm curlnate, don't really know this, water glycerin, blah, blah, blah. Palmitic acid. We are going to uh, just dissolve a whole lot of this in water. I reckon two blocks should do. What are they, 85 gram blocks? So we'll get some hot water going. Actually, let's just bloody use the microwave. All right, I've let it cool slightly and I was gonna come back to filter it off, but uh, we got a slight issue. It's uh, just one hunk of solid now. Um, <laughs> so we've taken our three soap bars and we've made one big soap bar. So um, mm, gonna need a little bit more hot water in this one, I reckon. I'm also gonna add a little bit of sodium carbonate to this because we want all the palm oil to be the sodium salt currently because we want it to be extracted into the water. And from the ingredients list, some of the palm oil was just as the acid. So, so the sodium salt is uh, not as soluble as I thought it would be, which I should have seen coming as I have had experience with soap in the past. So I do know how soluble soap is and it's not that soluble but what i really want to get rid of is this really fine suspension of titanium dioxide when everything's dissolved you can see it's all very murky so i'm gonna have a go at hot filtering it although i have a feeling that as soon as i start trying to filter it it's gonna cool and like set into a big chunk this is the magic of using starting materials that are like three dollars rather than very expensive stuff because i feel like i could throw most of this out and i wouldn't be sad so that's fine Just hot filtering in the actual oven because uh, why not? It's just on low heat. <laughs> so all the glassware stays hot and everything keeps filtering. All right, so this is the stuff that came out of the hot filtration. You can see it's slightly less green. Um, so I think we've removed a lot of the um, particulates from it, but really it's just like another solid lump. So what am I doing here? What am I doing? Um, this is awful i mean there's still heaps of water in here because i haven't filtered it at all and i've just added heaps of water there's also heaps of glycerin we really need to get this to a point where we can filter it i reckon water is a terrible solvent for this it dissolves really well hot but then really poorly cold so i reckon if we use ethanol we might have more success so we're going to actually try and do some experiments in this experiment and uh, see if we can dissolve it in ethanol better than we can um, in water and actually get it to a point where we can filter our solid out from everything else in solution rather than just have a big block of something. So I've got this, it's looking a little bit better in the fact that I could probably filter it now. So I might try and heat it up and dissolve it all and then let it cool back down and then filter it because then everything will be dissolved and hopefully only our product will be crystallized out. The important thing now is that I don't set fire to it all because now I've added ethanol to it and it might be a bit flammable. Hey, that dissolved heaps better. It actually was all fine. I can't believe that it worked so well. It's still looking pretty turbid, um, so I'm gonna give it another hot filter. It's probably not all the soap, it's probably just all the other shit that we really didn't filter out the first time, so. God, I was just about to film that we nearly finished the filtration and it had to fucking spill. 
microwave slipped off its fucking something or other and this is exactly what I expected from a project where I open the video saying we need something easy. It's just annoying because I've spent all this time filtering it and take a moment and relax and um yeah our stuff is nearly filtered so whoop de do. From this smaller scale batch we can see that the ethanol helps dissolve it a lot better and then we can hot filter it really easily so we might as well start adding a bit of ethanol to this huge mass here, get this processed as well and add it to this. I've probably only spilled about half of it. Aha! I see you! Finally, possum, possum hunt is complete. It's you that's been living about the lab. You're cute, but making an awful racket. Sure you don't like living up there, do you? No, don't go back there. Alright, see you later. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, it's looking very yellow. Typical fucking yellow chemistry, but hey, there's a whole lot here. Just, I can't be bothered hot filtering anymore. So, once everything cools down, we should see quite a bit of precipitate, but hopefully it doesn't go to a brick. <laughs> like a big bar of soap. You kind of want that nice compromise between lots of product crashing out, but you're still able to actually get the solvent off it rather than it setting into a big brick. All right, everything's cooled down, and what do you know? Everything's set into one giant block again. Ah, bloody hell, this is getting a bit frustrating. Um, I'm just gonna have to try and filter this. Too much product, it's too much product. Right, it's been washed with methanol a few times and this is as dry as it's bloody getting. It's still quite, I don't want to say the word soapy. What's a better word than soapy? Um, greasy. Yes, this is as dry as it's getting on the pump. What I might do now is just take it out and uh, see if I can just dry it, as in like heat it up and dry it. Drive off the remainder of the methanol and see if we actually get something other than a waxy soap at the end of it. What are you doing in the rain? Get out of the rain. Ow. Oi. Ah, uh, yes, there's so much solvent in this that <laughs> even a slight bit of heating turns it entirely into a liquid again, unless I'm melting it. But it should be the sodium salt, which has a melting point quite high, but that's crazy. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Okay, you can see it's really thickening up now. I've got one uh, molecular sieve in there as a boiling chip, and all the water is finally leaving it. Man, its ability to hold on to solvent is really what's killing the synthesis. All right, okay, I may have slightly uh, uh, burnt our product. Ah, uh, slightly. Disaster. Anyway, it's basically dry now. The fact that it's burning is dry. God. See how much we actually got out of that. Remember that we had 100 mils worth of soap. All right, here is our final dried product. Yes, it has all those brown flecks through it, and it's gone a little bit yellow, of course, because I burnt it drying it out at the very end there. But, you know, it's not very much here, obviously. Look, we've still got heaps here um, in this stage uh, and a little bit that's nearly dried here. So, look, but we've got our final sodium palamate. It's a nice dry powder, it's not very greasy. It's got no insoluble materials in it, like the titanium dioxide, it's got no glycerin or anything in it as well. So that's great for our purposes. Honestly, my favourite part of this project was when the uh, when the possum turned up. That's been my favourite part of this project. Alright, thanks for coming along for another train wreck of a video. But, um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, fucking... Oi. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> bleeding through my gloves. Oh, that's disgusting.